institutions. I warned over and over and over and over again, once Donald Trump was elected in the institutions of America, the system really, because they all work together now, as they all went all in to defeat Trump, they didn't concern themselves with anything else, with norms, rules, what was allowed, nothing else matters. And many of these people are on record on record saying nothing else matters at getting rid of Trump. Trump's a unique threat, so it's going to take unique things. You, you, you did. I heard you all do it. We have to. We have no choice. It's, it's all bets are off. And I warned over and over and over again, you're killing the entire United States of America because here's why. Even if, even if which he obviously wasn't, even if Trump was this unique threat, he's Hitler, he's anti, whatever, whatever you consider it to be. If you lose all of your credibility, if you burn it all in order to get rid of him, that in the end, even if you get rid of him, which in, I guess you could argue they did, that you're not left with anything. Because one thing corrupt leaders forget, and this is the history of the world, this is not just our country, and it's definitely our leaders now. You always, no matter your form of government, representative republic like we are, to a monarchy, doesn't matter. You always only rule with the consent of the governed. The consent of the governed. You need us. You need us to approve of you being there. And a huge part of that is trust. But here's what's happening in the country. And this is exactly what I warned would, would happen. Longtime listeners will know. Things, and I said this back then, I didn't know what they would be. Things are going to come for the nation. Problems. That's just how it works. Nations are going to have problems. There are going to be conflicts, famines, wars, open wars flat out. There are going to be disasters, natural and man-made. There are going to be, there's going to be another virus. There's gonna, there are things that are going to come for our nation in the future. And when those things come next time, I warned over and over and over again, especially during COVID, I screamed it from the rooftops. When those things come next time, the next time the FDA, CDC, EPA, FBI, IRS, the, the, the medical institutions, the media, the next time you stand on the mountaintop and scream, it's the end of the world, help! Or the next time you stand on the mountaintop and scream, it's fine, don't worry, we checked it out, it's good. The people are not going to listen. Because in an effort to get rid of the big orange man, you took all of your credibility and you set it in a big old pile and you lit it on fire. And you're going to demand or you're going to ask one day, I warned you back then, you're going to ask or you're going to demand to have my trust the next time you tell me something that's super important. And the irony is, the next time maybe you'll be telling the truth and maybe it is super important and maybe you are being honest, but none of that matters, none of it, once the trust is gone. Because here's the thing about trust. You don't just walk up to the trust light switch and just beep, turn it on again. That's not how it works. You don't have to go out to the breaker box with the flashlight and your slippers at night trying to find it to get and just beep, click up. The trust is back on, honey. Try it now. That's not how it works. You can't lie about everything all the time. And then in the wake of an ecological, frankly, medical disaster, that's what it looks like in Ohio, you don't get to step up in front of everybody and say, hey, trust the government. As a father... I trust the science. I trust the methodology that this state is using. If the EPA uh, said that your water your said house. that my air quality was safe, and the state said that the water has been tested and the water quality is safe, then I would trust those readings. I am asking that they trust uh, the government, uh, and that's hard. We know that there is a lack of trust, which is why the state and the federal government have pledged to be very transparent. The same government that told us we should stand six feet away from each other in response to a virus? Should they trust that government? The same government, just, just want to make sure I'm trying to, get, trying to follow along here. You're telling people they should just trust the government when the government, they facilitate the fast-tracking of a vaccine, 
And then they told people that not only if they took it, they would be protected from COVID, which turned out to be a lie. They told people if they took it that they wouldn't spread COVID, which turned out to be a lie. In fact, they were so sure of it, they told you you'd be fired if you didn't take it. Remember, the only point in a mandate is if you're, it stops the spread, which it never did. So again, I want to come back to this. You don't get to now simply demand it back. And I'm sorry, but you don't get to ask for it back either. It has to be earned. And now we have this disaster in Ohio and it's too late. It's too late. There's no time for you to earn it back. That doesn't help anybody now. That's the problem. 